It's not only a new session of Poker Time, but we've got new innovations we're bringing to the table, the poker table, that is, Grant. You'll see every player's got those time cards. That's because every player now is on a 30-second shot clock for every decision. Right, and uh, this is the course of a three-hour session. It'll be broken up into two episodes this week and next week, and uh, they each get four time cards total for that amount of time. Yep. There's Batiste, one of the old stalwarts, and Isan wearing some poker guy's gear that he made himself. That's true. We'll have to talk about the hat after this hand for a second. It looks like a pretty bad flop for both players. Well, it's a double gutter for Isan. Yeah, but it's it's monochromatic. He doesn't love it. Good good turn for Batiste. Yep. And this might just be a check fold for Isan if Batiste bets. I would expect that's how it's going to go. He probably won't be using one of those time cards now. Those time cards, by the way, do give each player 30 seconds, and they don't have to actually spend it. It will automatically be spent for them if they go over their time. So they don't have to throw it out to right. get 30 seconds. It's just deducted at the end of the hand. They'll take two cards away, our, our dealer, Brittany, will. So Isan's hat. Isan's hat yeah. says something. What does it say? Like friendly. Fami familiar jingle and, fr and choo-choo, I think. Yeah, which is referring to the end of our ad, which you'll see a bit later. Yeah. Our Poker Time ad, which is taking the nation by storm. His shirt also says something about the ad. It's the first lines of the ad, which is right. 14K in the pot. It's just yeah. kind of folded over there. Yeah. But 14K in the pot, four diamonds. Mason is one of our new players. He limps with ace nine of spades. It's not a great start for him, in my opinion. <laughs> Jess is going to bump it up with a dominated nine. Hold. No way Mason can fold this hand. No, not after limping and it's only a 6x raise. Yep. Oh. Batiste can fold. Oh. He proves it. You as well? Yeah. We're going to see, uh, deep here. see some action from Mason for the first time. And it's an open ender for Joseph with, with the flush I draw. like Joseph in this hand. Wow. This is probably going to be over in a flash. Joseph, happy to get check raised here. Maybe yeah. not happy, but willing to go with it if he gets check raised, most likely. Maybe. I don't know. We've seen him throw away some surprising hands. He would in not the past. fold this hand. Well, remember uh, last session against uh, Matt Vaughn, where he folded a, the combo draw on the turn? He had a queen high flush draw that and was a, straight draw. That was a much worse combo draw. A much worse combo draw? With one card to come. Oh, that's true. With one card to come. But Matt Vaughn bet like a third of the pot, and he was Joseph was in position. <laughs> Joseph, no, that and was, Joseph had an easy move in. That we was thought. a surprising fold. I'm just saying. He, he makes some surprising folds. I don't think he would fold that. I don't think so, but I don't know that he'd be going with it. He probably he might just call a race. That's another new player right there, Travis. Yep. We got three new players in this, uh, this one. Actually, four, because there's Luca. Oh, that's right. Luca has never actually been on the. We've actually he has played on Poker Time, but that show never made it to air. Right, and that is uh, Dan right there. Dan is our other new player. Sort of got a woodsman fashion thing going. He does seem like he could chop some wood. Yeah. Probably camps a lot. Wow. Wow, this is not a good sign for Batiste here. This flop. Luca has him just in complete jail here. Yeah. And Batiste is not going to be slowing down on the turn a lot if Luca just calls. If Luca raises, I can't imagine Batiste folding. Nope. Doesn't seem like it's it's gonna be really hard. Batiste is gonna need to go run a runner straight, I think, a lot to make any money in this hand. I guess obviously you go run a runner a bunch of things, but Well, well, it's all over now, and Batiste might think he can't bluff this card effectively. He might think he has more trips in his range than Luca, but Luca might have folded a lot of hands that were non-aces and non-flush draws Maybe. on the flop. But the thing is, he sets himself up, Batiste does, to check call out of position, or is he just going to check fold because the board is paired? Maybe he's just going to check well, fold. Well, it's a smallish bet, though. 125 and a 260. I don't know if Batiste could profitably fold here. Can he profitably call? He's only going to get there 20% of the time, and it's hard to get paid when he does. Only one of them can be profitable unless Luca sized it perfectly. Right. So I'm saying I think a fold is probably more profitable. You can lose. By the way, neither can be profitable. 
at this point, you can lose money with either option, but the question is, which one do you lose less money with, right? Yeah. Also, by the way, a, okay. fold, a fold can't be... You can't lose money on a fold. All you right. don't lose anything. What right? I meant is what is better expected value right. for Batiste's situation. I think I think a check fold is... I think a fold is probably better expected value. Although, maybe you think uh, Lucas got trip bases, and if you make a flush, you can donk the river and get paid. I think you have to donk the river if you make a flush. Yeah. Now, of course, that would have been a disaster for Batiste. Now, he's definitely just going to check fold. Unless Luca checks back, which he could, because Batiste does have some ace-10 type hands in his range here. He does check it back. Do it. Batiste is enough of a uh, enough of a uh, hero that I think you probably are supposed to no, bet that even though once in a while you lose. I think you get called by enough pocket pairs and things like that when the flush misses. You think, yeah, I mean, if Batiste has something like two jacks. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't have that many aces that beat you. When Batiste takes that That's, line. They take that line specifically. Yeah. Like he's often going to bet the turn with mm -hmm. an ace. Not always, of course. So Isan's wearing that what really cool shirt. This is not true that Travis called under the gun with yeah. Jack 4 offsuit. That's just a lie. And it looks like it's getting remedied here. But yeah, Isan does open in the cutoff to 35. Looks yeah. like we're going to see Mason 3-bet here and Isan snap fold with 7-5. Let's see what Mason had. Maybe in a second. Ace-8 off. All, All right. right. He's got some moves. Yep. He's got a blocker. It was enough to attack the late position open. I like it. I'm all right. So I was saying isan has got that cool us, poker guy shirt and some folks may be, uh, may be wondering, how do I get a shirt like that if Isan made it himself? And the answer is, if you look in the link... <laughs> In the description, actually, luck, we have a link to player. our new Poker Guys merch store, which we made because Isan made that shirt. We right. thought it looked so cool. Yeah. We didn't have it until Isan made that shirt. Yeah. <laughs> but enough people, we, we put it out on Twitter. Enough people seemed now? excited about it. We decided okay. we're just going to put it out there. And uh, so if you guys want hoodies, shirts, they're all different colors. They look pretty good, I have to say. That's a sharp looking uh, Poker 2000, Guys logo. 2021, we'll have the technology to put it on umbrellas. That'll yeah, be exciting. That, that's, I mean, that's, 2021 that's is really that's optimistic. The big, that's though. the big deal, though. Yeah, that's a big deal. We're going to have self driving cars apparently in 2022, <laughs> according to you, also. Like, <laughs> umbrella technology is like 2025 at the earliest. It's I'm unbelievable. A, I, I like to think, yeah. Like, you know, I'm a Steve Jobs type guy. Yeah. Whoop, look at the flop. Well, not a whole lot for Terminator, though. No, but Joseph does have the nuts. Let's Terminator see. does have a pair. He is going to call. There are some really bad turn cards for Terminator, of course. A nine, a six, a heart are all devastating. Heart would be real bad. All but right. That's a safe it's one. It's safe. Joseph should keep betting. I imagine he will. Terminator's Check. often going to fold, but not always. None of the draws come in. Terminator has a lot of flush draws, a lot of top pairs. Some two pairs, but not so much because he didn't check raise. Yeah, not too much. So Joseph should be betting. I agree with you. Terminator's got a lot of hands he can call with. And also, you want to certainly charge spades. And all the draws, even though you aren't too afraid of the straight draw. You want to charge ace-10, I guess. Sure, and, and any spades. Terminator, though, he's got to decide. If Joseph isn't semi-bluffing, he's he's ahead, Terminator just throws it away. If that was a heart on the turn, I would have called. Ooh! Come on, heart. Come on, heart. Eight hearts? Eight of hearts or something? I had a pair and a... I had a pair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was being honest instead of tired of pulling. Well, it wasn't Jack Ten of Hearts. There's no way it was there. No. That would be a pair of open and straight hmm. But I might get lucky. So hoping you had Ace King and you're gonna check the turn. I had King Ten of Hearts. Oh, you had King Ten of Hearts. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. No. Raise thirty-five. I was ahead then. That's pretty funny. I don't. I think Terminator genuinely didn't realize that made a straight on that board at the time. <laughs> it's just said that Mason had Ace King suited, but that must have been an incorrect. It said he folded Ace King suited. Can't be right. That can't be true. He obviously three bet Ace eight off. He's never folding Ace King. So all right. So we'll just yeah. chalk that up to the computers slowly taking over. That's weird. 
Not anything for anybody on this board. Luca could bet simply for protection, but obviously yeah. any action is a disaster. It's kind of a wet board and a board that really connects with callers' ranges, but he does bet and it probably is just going to work because no one has anything. Dancing through the raindrops on this one unless yeah. somebody decides to get squirrely, which I don't see happening when Luca opened under the gun. I guess Luca sees himself as just equity protecting slash bluffing, hoping he can maybe bluff out pocket fives once in a while. Uh, when you got two threes, you don't really have anything going on anyway. It's not crazy to take a shot. But man, that's not a pretty board for it. Man, it's gonna suck for Luca for the next 15 years. He's gonna get all the Luca Doncic jokes now. Oh, but you know, but he now gets to leave behind the "My Name Is Luca" jokes. Do you not know what that is? What's that from? It's a song from way back in the day. My name is Luca. I live on the second floor. It was about um child abuse. Actually. Oh, cool. <laughs> I don't. I I would imagine he's gonna get a lot more Luca Doncic jokes than he got of that. Um, he's my not, name is Luca. He's it's pretty like, popular, he's buddy. Like in his early 30s or something. He's pretty, not 70 years old. He's not <laughs> <laughs> pretty popular song. Joseph just limped Ace Queen under the gun here. Joseph mixing it up a little, but I wonder if he's got a uh, limp re raise in him. Maybe it Maybe looks not. like it began just a cascade of limps here, as it often does. Yeah. Mason, uh, what, a 10 9 off in the hijack. Mason's a little loosey goosey with his limps, it seems. Yeah. Open ender for Batiste. Nothing else for anybody. Yeah. But Batiste is going to bet it. Nice. I was going to say, if he, if he checks, it's just probably going to check through in so many bad cards. He has everything on this board, too. He has yeah. straights, he has two pairs, he has trips, sets. So it's pot, by the way. You know, it's a small pot, so yeah. what difference does it really make, I think, is what he's thinking. Got to make sure he doesn't get called by ace high. Turn off your phone, Terminator. Everybody heard that. He doesn't seem very interested in turning off his phone. It looks like he's doing a lot of furious texting. Maybe he's doing some stock trades. How did you hear about this game? Maybe. Um, Maybe he's um, purchasing too. concert tickets uh, to a Beyonce concert. Then, uh, Why Beyonce? I'm Why? Are you kidding? That's a weird here. question. Uh, Why not Beyonce is the question. Oh, okay. That's what I wanted you to say. I am going Good. To the big island of Right. Dan hasn't played a hand yet, and he continues the streak. Tight Dan, that's what I'm calling him from now on. Tight Dan. He's just thinking about chopping wood and starting fires. He's like, you know, you got to start with the really small pieces of tinder that you find. <laughs> kindling, kindling. Oh, no, well, no, no, kind of, the kindling is, is the bigger pieces. Yeah, okay. You got to start with little twigs and, and sometimes even pine cones if it's dry enough. Dan will tell you. <laughs> Dan will draw it for you. He's yeah. actually a surprisingly good artist of... Uh, Nature well, he's got a lot of time when he's just sitting out there in the woods musing about the philosophies of life. He actually doesn't really draw so much as whittle. <coughs> yeah. You know, he's going to whittle a scene for you out of a, a tree stump. It's beautiful. If your name is Dan and you come on Poker Time, you get a whole fake story made up about hey, you. I guess hey, that's the hey, hey, something just happened. Joseph is making a huge three bet with eight deuce. It's going to work, but what are you doing, Joseph, and why? Batiste giving him the death stare. Ridiculous race. He's right. I guess I'm glad I didn't three bet my hand. What? I had a hand I felt like three bet. To 200 and. Come on, show it. <laughs> Ace King. <laughs> What's ridiculous? It's about stack protection. Right? <laughs> you want the whole thing you gotta put something in there. <laughs> I'm trying something new. Uh, <laughs> building the pot. <laughs> building the pot pre flop. No, I want to bet the top of my range and the bottom so, of my range. Like the 23rd. That was one of the two. Hey, he's just making his way around. I mean, if you three bet the, to he's like 11x every time, no one's ever going to give you action. I didn't say I wanted action. I just yeah. said I'm working on right. something new. Right. I had fun last time I went. Glad it only cost me 30. Four months ago. <laughs> I love Joseph. That was really a very strange decision, though, to just go crazy with the eight deuce, but it sure worked. Yep. He squeezed. He's got a nice hand here, too. I guess not. And watch him watch him just call. He always does this, right? <laughs> he always just like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> there, there it is. <laughs> so weird. I, mean, I guess I could have huh? just ripped it in you right there. That would have been interesting. I don't think Heads up. He's got Terminator in a lot of trouble here. Let's see if, oh, there. that's not a favorable flop. Terminator does flop an eight. Joseph can't like the ace. Joseph can't really just fold for one bet, though, either. No, he's going to find a call, I imagine. But multiple bets might get it done. It's tough, too, when you're out of position here with this hand. But you just can't fold a hand that beats two of the three cards on the board this quickly. But looks like he may find one of those folds. Nope. 
He does call. By the way, Joseph did say during his speech with Batiste that he was going to be three betting the top and bottom of his range. I guess this doesn't constitute the top of his range. No, well, it's not. There are higher things. Yeah. You're in the hand. I should be quiet. I didn't realize. Terminator checks it back. Joseph's got to love that. Joseph probably feels like he's ahead, but I don't know if he can value bet profitably here. Well, he can try and get called by a jack specifically. The problem is 910 just got there, so now there's very, very little that uh, Terminator can beat. Yeah, and also Terminator, the problem with yeah. checking is that Terminator doesn't tend to bluff in these spots that often when he checks back the turn. He usually mm. slows down, especially, I'd say, of late in the last, uh, like at the very, very beginning of program time, if you go all the way back in our archives, which are, of course, all on YouTube, you can see Terminator just firing shots <laughs> left yeah. and right. But he's really uh, he's really found some discipline and checks back a lot more, makes a lot more big folds. Sure, sure. on an exact count. count. Yeah. No, street. of the bet, not the stack. Oh, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> if it's like really clear, it's, you know. Yeah. But he's got a gremlin on his shirt. Just announce your bet, then you never have that problem. It's not as good as, whoa, just had a little. Well, pitching the voice. You there. know what? Not as good as Eason's shirt. Puberty happens for everyone, and we're, we're all excited that it's going to happen. It's, it's a journey, Grant. That's what I'm going to say. A journey of discovery and growth, and you're going to start to feel feelings you haven't felt before, and it's exciting. Just I remember have a, that. I have a practice razor. It doesn't have any <laughs> blades on it. That's just that's just the tip of the iceberg. Let me tell you, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get hair in places you can't believe. Oh, <laughs> thanks for letting me know. Joseph with the steal. It's easy for Joseph. You win with seven high. You win with eight high. You get to basically check down queens after the C bet on an ace high board. Just easy going. Are you portending doom for Joseph right now? No, Is that what, what's not at happening? All. Not at all. I'm just saying. It's nice to be Joseph sometimes. Here's a real hand. Dan still hasn't played a hand. He hasn't had a hand. He has had complete garbage the whole time. Keep chopping wood, buddy. <laughs> you upset at him for not just... Are you are you prescribing to the philosophy of like, well, I haven't played for a while. I better <laughs> three bet the eight five off. You can expand your rage a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 17 his, minutes. His image is tight now. He can do anything. It's been like less than an Whatever orbit. this next hand is, he can, he can effectively five bet blind. All in, and they have to fold. It has to be good. Unless they have aces. They have to fold. Yeah, he's due also. <laughs> kind of up towards the north side. Because, um, you know, it's, it's lush on the north and the east side. And it's the dry side. A lot of hats uh, this time around. There's really not a lot going on. We don't have a hat corner, though, like we five. have had in the past. Yeah, but there's five guys with hats yeah, exactly. out of eight. That's crazy. Get away and just chill. That's the place I mean, it's upsetting. Yeah. So, Mason, oh, I was thinking about it. I was wondering if he was thinking about 3-betting or not there. Terminator does not usually give up his big blind. And he defends. Luca's got a... It's a little bit loose, but fine. Luca's got a nice looking hand. Sure. Not whole anymore. Lot, whole lot of nothing, but this is the kind of board Luca can really just bet and win on a lot. Terminator doesn't connect too often with it. It's pretty likely to work this time. Yeah. yeah. So want to be on the beach in the water. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Fins and a snorkel. Yep. Got a convertible so Jeep time. just to take off. When are you leaving? Things have been working out really well for this corner over here. Luca had the big pot against Batiste to start, and it's getting his seabeds bets through. Mm -hmm. Joseph, as you mentioned, has won all the hands he's played. Isan, mm -hmm. yeah. though, he bet it's once and got three bet forward. and folded. He's kind of outskirts of the corner, though. Because he's kind of in the other One shot as well. Also, he's like, got to be feeling good because like he's wearing that was, awesome Poker so Guys merch. Yeah, look good, feel good. Digging. Play good. Like Live forever. Oh, really? That sounds like a good combo. Go. That's a good Pro slogan for the Poker Guys. Live forever. <laughs> Dan continues not to get anything. Except for yeah, Terminator with the call. People are calling with their big hands in a small blind. That's kind two. of strange. And Travis now with a mandatory call. First time we've seen Travis play a hand as well. He didn't mention yeah. that before. Nah. Oh, well, he did open the A6. That's when he got through that. Oh, bat. yeah. What do you know? Okay, so King Queen for Luca is back in front. No hearts in anybody's hand here. I like the check back yeah. from Luca. Me too. Heart, a heart comes, it kind of ruins his whole thing, but 
Yeah, when a heart comes, you feel terrible. Now we can get value from worse hands a lot more easily. Yeah, probably not this time, but yes, of course, in general. He now knows it's at least a lot safer to bet. Yeah, when no one elects to bet even a second time. And that's uh, Ace King wasted for Terminator there. And 7 4 wasted for Travis. I mean, wasted? Yeah. Completely wasted. I, I disagree strongly it's with like your terminology. A, it's like a brilliant 16 year old with. A, sc Whoa. a scholarship to Harvard okay. all ready to go, and then they, they get on the old drugs, you know? Why does that have then, to be 16? And then they end up in the old gutter from the old drugs. Why can't they be the age of consent, at least? What are you talking about? <laughs> you just made it extra creepy. Anyway, You made it creepy first. How? You said 16-year-old, and it was felt like you were going in a bad direction. I feel, I feel like, like I saved it. I feel like that's all on you, like 100% <laughs> on you, everything that just happened. <laughs> Luca, another good hand. This one, real good. Premium. Yisun looks like he's not interested in throwing this one away. His hand is... This would be an optimistic non-fold, <laughs> is what I would say when Luca's yeah. opening under the gun. Do you prefer a three-bet or a call? I don't prefer... I prefer a fold. If I'm forced to pick from the other two, well, I, guess, bet. I guess I prefer a three-bet. It looks super strong when you three-bet the under the gun. It does look super razor. strong, and they're very deep, so Luca's not going to be four-betting with a ton of yeah. hands here. This has got to be better to three-bet than to call. And Based on what you just said, right? Yusun's in a spot where, although his equity is 30%, he gets to win a lot more frequently yeah. than that. So, yeah, this is... He doesn't have to connect with the board. And, in fact, this is a great flop for Isan, as he may not know it, but if he decides to continue, it's going to be hard for Luca to hold on. Luca has a very deliberate checking style. So got to be aware that Ace Queen just got there, and of course Isan still has Jack Jack plus in his range. Sure. For pairs. I mean, could be also tens and nines, stuff like that. Some of that, but you wouldn't expect a three bet as frequently with those hands. Sure. Luca may also think like, great, so I'm up against Ace Queen pocket pairs and Ace King, so I'm losing everything except the thing I'm chopping with. What's the point of calling? Luca Which is a has, reasonable thing to think. Luca has not folded. This is interesting. He. He is reaching for... Is this a call? Raise. It's a raise. So he's trying to move Isan off of Ace King or Jax, I guess. I don't like this raise. I think unless he knows something about Isan, knows Isan's messing around too frequently, the range Isan should be having here most of the time is a lot stronger than a, ha a range that would fold frequently enough. For this check race to be profitable. I mean, would jacks even bet on this flop? I'm not sure if they would. Would you know? Would tens and nines bet? Maybe, but they might also just check. Is Isan considering raising? This would be one of the cooler plays we've nah, seen in poker lets it time. Go. But that would have been super. Well, sweet. the best hand did ultimately win, but it won in a weird way that I don't know. Maybe perhaps Luca had a tell on Isan. Maybe maybe he had a read on him. That is the. I mean, if the only way to make that play good in my mind is if he had a read on Isan. Yeah, well, it's, that's possible. I mean, he was right, so maybe he did. Well, we'll, we'll have to keep an eye out for that if uh, Luka actually seems to have anything on Isan or if he just got lucky with that raise. A lot of people didn't believe in Luka Doncic, you know, and look look how that turned out. Uh, yeah, that song, My Name is Luka, when it first came out, people were like, that can't be a hit. No <laughs> one's going to like that song. And then it was a hit, and people liked it. That's a better point than my point. Yeah. Nobody believed. <laughs> Here's Mason. Not used to using the RFID cards yet, Yeah, I see. clearly... It's just a disaster over there. I mean, it's the... a complete catastrophe. Okay, there it is. It's, getting okay, it's, it's never... fine. Everything's fine. Mason, you're doing great. <laughs> Travis has a six again. This time he does get to see a flop. That's Man. a pretty good flop for Mason. Yeah. I Luke, don't think he's going to get any action, though. Luca might call once. He might, but I don't know. I mean, like, is there a lot of... A good prospects in the future if you call with his hand on this board. I mean, a nine could come. Yeah, that's about it. A six it. could come. You'd feel pretty good about that, although it wouldn't work Looks out. Looks like Luca is going to call. He just decides it's part of his range. He has to it's add not it to It's the not absurd range. when you're the last last to act. No. And your head's up now to call once. The problem is when faced with further aggression. Yeah, you just have to fold or hold on for dear life for no real reason. I mean, you have to hope that Mason's betting gutters and things like that, basically. Which maybe he is, again. but those still right. have plenty of equity because they all have overcards right. as well. Like Ace-10. He's got 10 outs. And Mason loved this spot because he, he probably expects Luca has a lot of top pairs and second pairs in his hand that he won't fold. 
I mean, he's also got things like Queen 10, King 10, 9, 10 stuff that's harder to uh, to fold as well, where you have the gut shot equity. Yeah. Anyway, I think Luca played that perfectly fine, and I actually like calling on the flop once and seeing what happens, and then folding on the I, turn. I agree with calling on the flop. I don't yeah. like it. Yeah, fair. Oh, no. Yeah. No, you don't enjoy it. You're yeah. like, I'm losing a lot here, but... And, and a lot of bad cards come on the turn, but still, got to protect. Got to protect my... Uh, my hands a little bit by calling. Can't just throw everything away. That's a pair. Here's another pretty one for Mason. Dan looks over at that bet with jealousy, <laughs> with envy. Terminator is ready to terminate. Uh, Terminator, you know, in fairness, he lasted 26 minutes, almost 26 full minutes before he uh, decided started to playing to, a lot of hands. Going to Terminator mode? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Everyone's suited. <coughs> Joseph's got the best of it here. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be just nuts if spades came out, though? Thanks for saying that. Like, yeah, no problem. Like that. Well, it's a rainbow. Terminator does flop a king. That's only going to encourage him to terminate more. Joseph does have the gutter, but no backdoor diamonds. Mason has one pair. Probably, probably four ways this is just going to end right now. Probably. probably. They're deep enough that Joseph could call. It would be a pretty well-concealed straight if it came in. You wouldn't really be putting him on ace-jack or jack-9 too frequently. A Terminator true. could have top two or a set. I think if there was even one diamond on there, Joseph really might throw yeah. the call on there. But also being out of position with no diamonds is just not great. Mason does have a backdoor flush draw to go with his pair, yeah. but it's probably not good enough when Terminator bets into a pretty large field of players. And Mason's going to be out of position the whole way. I, I think it's a reasonable fold. It's okay to call there once, but you have to really think Terminator is getting Lucy and a goosey to make that call. Are and Lucy, Lucy and goosey are two separate <laughs> things when people say that? Just yeah. Like it's not one thing. Oh, okay. No, you're Lucy said well done. and you're goosey. You can be goosey. Think about it. When people say what a loose player, they don't say what a, what a loose goose player. You well, ever no, really think about well, that? You know, you understand that when they say loose player, it's short for a loose goose player. It's just that people stop saying the goose part. Wow. I never thought about that, actually. Yeah. That's really that's really hitting me in my breadbasket, you know? <laughs> Striking me in a deep, deep part of my we bones. We'll have an etymology discussion later. It'll be wonderful. Okay. That's the study of bugs, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> Here's Terminator with 8-6 suited. Raise 30. Hold. Hold. And you know why he's named Terminator, right? Because he m kills people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's on in the big blind with a premium hand. It's a... I like this just as a call. You could three bet it. People yeah. don't really do that anymore, but you really can. Sure. I think in the big blind especially, it's, it works pretty well as a call, though. I don't see Isan folding yet if Terminator C bets, and Terminator just gives it up. I don't think Terminator can win the hand very easily at this point. Well, I don't know. If Isan checks again, Terminator, if Terminator bet bets the turn. twice, I don't think one's ever really going to do it. Isan, the last time he played on Poker Time, was notorious for not folding. Well, he's going to bet here. I guess he's just protecting his equity, yeah. and it's going to work. So, nice job. Just over 14K in the pot. The turn is the four of diamonds. Hey, what is that? Speaking of turn, coming around the mountain, is oh. that the nitrogen sports poker train? I think they did buy a train recently. If you listen, you can hear its very choo. familiar jingle. Choo. And choo-choo. <laughs> Wait, there's the jingle. Nitro, ding, nitro, ding, nitro. Ding, ding, ding. Nitro, nitro, nitro. <laughs> wow, that's the weirdest <laughs> ad ever all of a sudden. Anyway, Nitrogen Sports Poker Room is, uh, you know, they let us do ads like this. They perhaps do. Perhaps because they don't listen to them. Free reign, baby. <laughs> <laughs> nitro, nitro, nitro. Nitro, nitro, nitro. <laughs> See, that's the ad we were talking about. Yeah, that's that's the stuff that Isan is referring to with his hat and his shirt. Although, again, you can't really see any of the words on the shirt, but... It's the first thing that I say in the ad, at the beginning yeah. of the ad. 14K in the pot. The turn is the four of diamonds. Yep. This would be a loose open from Mason, but I guess he heard me not like his limp with ace nine, so he's going to raise with the ace deuce. Yep. Travis probably going set hunting. Of course. Fives. I'm kidding about that. Mason could not have heard any of the commentary. I mean, you don't know what Mason is capable of. That's true. He could be That's interdimensional. Yeah. It's just, what, the fifth dimension? Look, look, look. Oh, my God! Dan! <laughs> Dan it's came out of the woods to play a hand. 29 minutes in, Dan sees a flop. <laughs> on the U 
And he like flops that bear. It's gonna be like watch paint dry. Yeah. Second pair for Luca. Mason's got the nut flush draw. There's some stuff going on here. Jonathan's dissertation from college. Yeah, there you go. That's 100. He's gonna bet the nut flush draw. I like that. Yeah, sure. It's the kind of board that hits him pretty well. Luca probably can't <laughs> fold. It's not a comfortable spot. I think Luca has to call, especially in position. And then, and then Dan's gonna have to overcall. Dan's gonna have to make another uncomfortable call. Yep. Neither guy's gonna love it, but. Seems just a little too tight to fall, but Luca oh. does throw it away. Maybe he just thinks four players is too much. Yeah, and there's a spade draw out there. He does yeah. too much to dodge. Well, Dan, he was right. It makes the call for Dan a lot easier when Luca folds. That's a safe card okay. for Dan. But if Mason continues, it gets a little bit like, you don't like your kicker, and what is this guy supposed to have? He right. opened under the gun. Mason has king, queen, plus if he keeps going, and probably ace, king, plus, really. Like yeah. Or he has something like he has. Of I course. mean, King Queen really plays the same as Ace King. And look King. at this: Mason bets three hundred into three forty-five. This is a very effective way to get a hand like Dan's to fold. I think this is going to work. Yeah, I don't know what Dan's supposed to do here. He's, the plan is to call now and fold all rivers that are big bets, which are going to feel like they're going to happen a lot. This is a nice play with, by Mason when he has equity and a big range advantage on Dan. Dan also has the King of Spades in his hand, so he's blocking one of the most obvious flush draws. And it works, and that, that's a really nice play by Mason. I really yeah. like how he sized it up on the turn there. These guys are both hail from Eugene. It's possible they know each other relatively well and know each other's games. Yeah. Uh, I got have at least one friend. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Dan are both from Eugene. See? Oh, yeah. You go to Uva? I did. You do? Yeah, I think that was more a great play by Mason than a... I think it's a totally reasonable fold there for Dan. Yeah, and I think it was an understanding of range. Like, Dan has so many one-pair hands that he has to just give up with there. Yeah. Mason doesn't want to just draw to his flush equity as a way to win the hand. Mm -hmm. Raise 30. Well, at least you're using your degree, right? Here you are. <laughs> hey, Dan's going to play again. Dan is now just playing every hand. It looks like he he's came, tilting. He came into town for supplies, you know. He's got a... He's losing his mind now. Dude, <laughs> yeah, gotta... totally losing his mind with his reasonable <laughs> play. <laughs> Three There's top pair for Mason. Check, check. Things are things are turning up Mason right now. Checks through those. Joseph just checks it right back, even on that board. Interesting. Gut Ready. shot now for Joseph. How are you? All three players could reasonably bet this turn. Dan is going to. Dan has a bunch of aces in his range, so it's a reasonable bet. It's just not going to work this time. No way. Mason cannot fold. If you see the server, will you tell her to come over? Uh, thank you. I appreciate that, man. Terminator wants some, something to eat or drink. The question like. I have is, so assuming Mason calls here, what's Joseph going to do with the gutter being in position? He could. I don't think raising is reputable. I think he could call, though. Yeah. Because it's going to be really disguised if he gets there. I agree. And maybe he can steal on the river anyway. Also, he could potentially uh, represent uh, spades. If oh, he yeah. comes in a day, everyone checks to him. Ooh, just barely missed it. Yeah. Now everyone's got enough of a hand it might check through unless Mason goes for value. Dan could have taken another shot, but he decided to just give up. When it's called in two spots, yeah. it's, it looks like Joseph has a weak ace, and maybe you can get Joseph to fold that hand. And it looks like Mason has a queen or an ace as well. And Mason's going to go for value here, actually, which is... He's trying to get called by a queen. Interesting. Is that 70? Mason's now pretty sure he has the best hand. Joseph is considering a call or a raise, do you think? It's a small bet. 70 into about 250. It's hard to believe Mason would be bluffing at this size. I like this fold by Joseph. But a raise might work, although what are you repping? We're repping the, the other question. gut shot that got there. But, yeah. but the whole reason you called with the gut shot in the first place is because it would be disguised, so you, you're worried that it might be too disguised. You could have 8-7 suited, maybe. Yeah. But... There's not too much there. Would you even really... I guess for 70, when maybe you would bets, raise it. When the guy bets 70, maybe. You're you just hoping raise. that he's not trying to springboard off that raise yeah. and three-bet you. I mean, you'll find out pretty quickly yeah. when you make it 200. If he makes it 600, you have to fold. because you have. That's like the worst hand you can ever have, basically. So many poker players have short-term memory problems. It just amazes me. It comes to their hand, who they owe money to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you should have a fundraiser. All right, Travis getting a little loose with the under-the-gun open here. Joseph's got him crushed in terms of the suits. Lots of ace-jack today. What's up with that? 
You know, every every session there's always one hand. There's a hot card. <laughs> Dan goes back to his folding ways. And Terminator is gonna wow. just call out. He, it isn't under the gun open. <laughs> yeah. But it's three ways now, out of position to both players. That's tough to win. Even though well, it did flop best. It's a lot easier to win now. He's going to just... I actually I dig this donk, I have to you say. You dig the donk. Although it would have been totally reasonable to check. I think actually I would probably check it now that I think more about it. <laughs> so you don't dig. You undig I, it. I undig it, yeah. You cover up that hole. Yeah. I dig the donk because I guess I could see the cards. Joseph does have a backdoor and a gut shot here. Yeah, he's really supposed to call once. Also, it's hard for to pull the bluff on him. <laughs> What's Terminator really supposed to have? I guess he could have King Ten. You could have a set, <laughs> set of fours. Yeah, set of tens. You wouldn't think he has too many sets of tens. Is Joseph raising? Yep, looks like a raise. Okay, this hand got fun. One seventy. Terminator absolutely cannot fold. Whoa! Whoa! Terminator three bets. That is right. weird. Did you start with 24? Let's start with 24. Mm -hmm. Actually, no. 2380. 2380. <laughs> <laughs> but he's played a few pots. Joseph calls because he thinks he's still getting the right price in position and hopes he can play. He's I'll gonna, play Terminator once in a while. He's going to bluff diamonds, right? He, he's yeah, got to he bluff. He has to. Well, nope. here we go. Okay, we'll see. Now, Terminator checks. He didn't want to see a diamond. You have to bet this if you're Joseph. This is a must bet situation. A, a solid 450, 500. It's going to take this down so often. Oh, he's doing I love Good. Joseph. Joseph, this is great. This is a yeah, great yeah. play. I mean, he just has to have it, doesn't he? He doesn't, but he just has to. You really gonna make me throw Ace King away? Wow. Terminator got himself in a little trouble with that three bet. Yeah. He defined the hands a little too much and being out of position especially. I have a set of four. No waiting on the turn. And that was a great play by Joseph. Yep. It's a little scary when the guy three bets you and then checks, but it is such a good card to go for. Free turn with the men raise. I figure you check on the turn. Unless he gets there. The no, that's exactly. If he gets there, then I got to. I mean, if he bets, I got to pull. It's just top top. Nice hand. Thank you. I really love the way Joseph played that hand. Yeah. Joseph does some weird stuff sometimes, but I think he's maybe my favorite poker time player these hmm. days. I love I love his thought process in, in spots like that. He does a lot of interesting things yeah. that seem thoughtful. Even when he makes plays that I think are uh, non-optimal, they're like marginally non-optimal and they're usually just like slightly too tight. Yeah. Usually. And that's like not the worst way to be. You right. know what I mean? If you're gonna if you're gonna have leaks, that's a good leak to have, you know? Compared to like being too spewy, where you're right. going to lose so much more money. Anyway, Joseph flops best here. Open ender for Terminator. 65. He's going to bet it, and this one isn't going to get through either, Terminator. Not yet, anyway. Well, he could get there. Of course. He also might su successfully bless jo Joseph at some point in the hand. But Joseph always just thinking about it for a second, and then makes a pretty standard call here. By pretty standard, I mean entirely standard. Maybe. Well, Terminator Bingo. gets there. Bango and a bongo. Joseph picks up a gutter as well. Terminator should just bet this. There we go. Oh, we bet huge, Whoa. though. More than the pot. What are you doing? <clears throat> Seems like more than in the middle there, man. See, Joseph, you can see the clock there. He's got seven seconds. He's oh, going to yeah. throw it away. He didn't pick up a gutter, too. Ace eight? It seems as though Ace the past two hands, Joseph has essentially owned Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> Terminator six is coming out, and Joseph's producing it. Like, <laughs> like wow. He just... Give you Both hands. Terminator really I messed that one up, though. Five yeah, five too too big. Just too big. Eight, ten, trying to get called by an ace, right? Why did you bet 300? Why did you bet more in the pot? Bet 200. He's going to call you. Right, and Joseph doesn't have too many two-pair plus hands because he just <laughs> called on the flop. Which sounds more reasonable and logical. If you can get me to fold, it doesn't matter what you have. Exactly. 
Folds? Got about half my money back there. Dan Folds. Back to tight, tight, tight. <laughs> nice. That's a Breaking Bad reference. Yeah. Batiste gets to win one. It's got to feel good. Batiste really showing up with some different clothes. No denim at all, by the way. Oh, I think he's wearing jeans. I can't really tell. Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah, that's a good but still, for him, that's basically no denim at all. Yeah. We can't even use the sigils when he doesn't oh, wear denim. Oh, man. Technically, it's a tournament. You can't even refer to him as the Lord of Denim. Lord Denim! <laughs> you know, you can't do that. Please don't do that anyway. I prefer what? that voice. You don't like the voice? I did not like it. It's an authentic voice. It's an authentic <laughs> voice. <laughs> Joseph making a reasonable under the gun fold oh, yeah. there. Isan Isan with the same hand but suited, making a reasonable open. Yep. Oh, he's limping? No, he raised. Okay. Hold. 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 And that's going to do it for Isan. He's going to take it down. Brittany. No defense from our Lord Batiste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to happen a little oh, bit for this episode. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but now I'm into it. I don't I don't like that. I'm one. sure the people watching love it. Can so. we go back to the Dan Woodsman stuff? I think yeah. that's better material. We can do both. We can do both. <laughs> but we're never losing the Batiste stuff. Isan, by the way, with the way he's wearing the shirt over that button down, it looks like he like won it at a at a business conference. <laughs> 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 looks like he's like at a, a an NBA game and they like, handed out shirts, yeah. so like just wearing it over his shirt, you know. <laughs> Mason with ace queen opens. Travis with ace ten suit is going to call, and Luca is probably going to be three betting this hand. Although no one ever seems to three bet big hands from the small blinds. Yeah. But right. Luca is reaching for the big the, chips. On the board over there. I don't think Mason can fold yeah. ace-queen for, no, just for no a three-bet. Right. And then that's probably going to bring Travis in, too. Yeah, I think so. Unless it's huge and it's not hey. that big. Not big enough. Will you find out and see if there's a list? Hey, Tia. Hello. How are you today? Good, how are you? Can I get a lemon ginger tea, please? There's the call from Mason. It's one of those spots oh, which really sucks boy. for Travis, Good where you are you getting priced in. You do close the action. You're in position. But you're dominated so often. As we see, he's dominated in two spots. I think... It, I think unsuited is an easy fold. Oh, yeah. But with, with it being suited, you just have to peel when, I think so. when everybody's this just deep. You also, as Travis, I think, have to take advantage of being in position no. at least a little bit and steal once in a while when given the opportunity. Yep. Just a oh, little bit. Good flop for Luca. Of course, he's a little bit worried about 8-9 suited in sets, but that's fine. Probably going to see bet here. Yeah. Try to get action from one pair hands and charge flush draws and straight draws. Mason doesn't really have 8-9 suited, but Travis can have it. Yeah. But Travis's stack is also significantly less than Lucas and Mason, so I think Lucas is going to just have to roll with Travis's stack based on. I don't know. It's going to be a tough spot if Travis does something, which I don't think he will. No, I don't. I mean, I don't think based on his hand. But if he had Jack Ten or Diamonds, he might he might put in a raise here sometimes. Travis looks like he wants to call or raise. I think he's getting frustrated. Yeah, but he knows that he can't really do anything here. It's a good fold. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward fold. That's how three betting is supposed to go, right? You have the best hand, you three bet, you get called in a few spots, you see bet, you, you still have the best hand almost certainly, you see bet, they fold, you win a nice little pot. That's how it's supposed to go. Why doesn't that happen more? Well, while you were busy, it was showing us how well yeah. Luca is doing and also showing us the VPIP. Now, Luca no, is I'm pretty high up there, but Joseph I'm is winning the VPIP war, which he's not usually doing. I would argue Dan's winning the VPIP war at 8%. <laughs> because he's now. had so many memories in the woods. He's played the two hands. They were back to Dan, play this one. Dan, no! Dan. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Dan, make a bad play. Dan, you're doing fine. Keep chopping wood, buddy. I remember seeing about that stuff on Instagram, Twitter, and stuff. You know, well, yeah. us on the other side and the inside were like, this is never, like when you they got announced, we're like, this right. is never yeah. happening. <laughs> it should have never happened. I feel bad for the people. Right. Ooh, Travis got a little bit bored or a little bit frustrated mm. and decided to three bet the 9 6 suited at a good time. Perfect timing. Everyone gets out of the way. We're back to Terminator, who's probably just going to throw. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Never mind. He's going to call. I was saying probably just going to yeah, throw Travis it away. does not like that. Nope, but little does he know. He's got Terminator in huge trouble. There are very few flops where Terminator could really win this pot. I mean, if he decides to do anything aggressive. Oh, oh. This is old school Terminator. Wow. Nothing goes Travis's way. 
Somehow, Terminator just decides to donk this flop, yeah. and now Travis can't do anything about it. Well, I mean, I mean he could. He's Travis just going to fold. He could raise. He, he could, could call. But, but in that spot, it like feels weird Sorry. to try to do that. It does. And Terminator very believably announced, and truthfully, that he had ace-king last time he donked on that king-10x yeah. flop. Yeah. I mean, I I Terminator bet really big, too, and he bet really big when he had the straight. At yeah. least there's some so level of balance there, right? He didn't bet a different amount. How frustrating is that for Travis? You're, you, you get that flop, you're like, oh, this is this board's all over me. I'm going to win this. And then Terminator just leads into you for pot. I mean, maybe you think, like, at least he didn't, like, at least I didn't have to pay a bet and see that he called, you know? Yeah. But, man. But basically, it's all big... Here's a better hand for Travis. And he's going to limp it. Huh. He's just trying to find a way to win a hand, I guess. Yeah. Look at us looking at him the way a wolf looks at chicken eggs. Hungrily. There we go. He's going to raise it up. He sees that limp and just wants to pounce. You're doing a lot of affected voices. Yeah, yeah, that's my new thing. Dan, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dan's going to have to call here in the big blind, I think. Like, Come on, Dan. My favorite, like one of my favorite parts of like that entire Whoa. thing. Not a call. Towards the beginning, it's like a robust, like a panel, tall Bunyan-esque three This is bets. nice. I think he sees what's going on here. Sees Luca pouncing goes, on the limp and is just trying to take advantage. And it's absolutely going to work. Oh, yeah. Right away. Unless Luca like, right. really loses his mind. Like, you're an idiot. And then that guy sent him another guy, paid another guy. Yeah. I'm like, right. okay, yeah, dude. Like, but he's talking about the fire really, Festival. Yeah. Good documentaries on that thing. Yeah, I just saw one. But, you know, finish but watching Poker Time before no, no, watching it. Oh, yeah, it's not as good as this. Like, people were getting paid, like, 50% over their asking price on other festivals. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because the guy booking it was that skinny dude who had no idea what he was doing, either. But, all interesting. Batiste knows a lot about that. His lot other job besides poker is production, which yep. is very similar to festival stuff. Terminator with a uh, pair here. <laughs> you guys sleeping back here? <laughs> He's always with a salty comment for pretty much everyone. I mean, he looks like a salty sailor with he his does. with his hat, so it fits. Is okay. Joseph gonna make another move? No, oh, oh, thought about it. Open. Okay, like true. round six already. Dan's gonna play. Dan's got a hand of Four some sort. Fight, yeah. You're so excited. It's unclear what, but Split he's it. Decision. Six four diamonds. He is loosening up here. Yeah, a little bit. That's a pretty loose call. Out of the small blind when Terminator opens under the gun. Agreed. Mason just with a pretty good hand again. And look at Mason running good today. Wow. Check. Checks through to <laughs> Mason's sadness. And now now he has the nuts. And Terminator he, does have a heart. And it checks through again. Well, Mason is not going to make a lot of money on this hand, most likely. I don't see how anyone can really call him. Both guys have one pair, and it's a bad pair. Got to take a stab here if you're Mason. You I can't risk so. it checking through. I'm just so sure Terminator's going to check. You figure if he's got a king, he's going to call. Oh, so. oh. Well, Dan and Mason do know each other. Maybe Dan just wants to stick it to him with a call here, but no. Makes a good fold. It isn't. It wouldn't be unreasonable for Dan to call there, I think, right? But probably a losing play I overall. Mean, we saw Mason thin value bet with the ace-10 earlier. It's possible Mason has a bit too much value for Dan to profitably mm -hmm. call with such a low pair on that board. Yeah. Also, it was three ways. Not saying much over there. <laughs> that shirt is wonderful. The hat is better, though. There we go. <laughs> so proud. I love it. <laughs> the pride that Batiste just alluded to also is reminiscent of Isan having won that at a business conference or gone to a basketball game and received it just so, so excited, so happy. Like the t-shirt uh, gun, like yeah. shot it up and he caught it, yeah. you know, over like some six-year-old girl. He just like just tore it away from her and put it on. He's so well, happy. It's, it's poker guys merch. You gotta, you gotta push the kids out of the way. Whatever it takes, man. Hey, Whatever. Travis has a real hand here. Maybe he's gonna get to win one. Hey, no one's three about him yet. This has gotta be very exciting. Oh, Travis wins. He finally gets a win. And look, he's all smiles. Well, <laughs> he's had a rough one so far. He hasn't lost that much money, though. He's just lost a lot of hands. You yeah, know? it, it that, adds up. It adds up, you know. I mean, he's down like 200 bucks or something. Yeah, right? that's a very nice dinner. Where? And maybe at McDonald's. Yeah. I mean, it is. Yeah. As good as McDonald's can make, right? <laughs> I mean, what's the most... Bring me your best French fries. <laughs> 
to have Batista and McDonald's. I, oh, no, no, no. No, Batista's um, squire would be like, bring my lord your best quarter pounder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think you might have broken a lot of uh, <laughs> audio equipment <laughs> that listeners are using to, to watch this with. You know, our, our views are either going to go way up or way down after this episode. That's Why would I they know. go up? Give me one reason they would go up. <laughs> People love the voices. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're going to tell their friends. Ooh. Mason! Mason! Look at this! And this is probably going to work. Of course it's going to work. Well, Joseph sometimes just gets active and decides to say no, yeah. but not this time. And he's out of position. With a pretty crappy hand in a three-bet spot I feel anyway. Like you're, yeah, you're underestimating the value of Queen Jack there when you call it a pretty crappy hand. I think for situationally, it's a pretty crappy hand. Yeah. And now they actually have an excuse to talk over everything. <laughs> <laughs> There's Nitrogen Sports, the ones who brought you that incredible advertisement. Yeah. And in a way, brought you Isan's shirt and hat. In, in a way, right sure. Now, Much like if you step on a butterfly and... 4,000 BC, you know. <laughs> yeah. We have, we have a different president right now. Yeah, Ashton Kutcher. In that way. I learned about that from Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> that movie was good. Was it, though? I thought it was good. Is that one you haven't rewatched? Look at how they're organizing their time cards there. It's, there's a competition of... It's weird. How you can organize your time cards between Batiste and Terminator. No one has used a time card yet. We're almost an hour in. Yeah, that's a bit odd. Let's go, guys. Take some time. It's more exciting. But I'm sure at some point there'll be some time pressure. We haven't seen that many really big hands uh, in, like, big decisions yet, no. actually. No, thank God. We did see the Joseph Terminator hand, which was pretty great. Yeah, that's true. But actually, but still, it was the kind of thing where when Joseph decided to call on the flop, Terminator had a pretty quick and easy decision when the diamond came on the turn, I think. Like, there's not much he could really do. Yeah. I mean, I guess he could have bet. <laughs> but that would have been weird. Classic. Check, out a, check out a turn race. <laughs> check out, yeah. That's next level. No, I would never do it. <laughs> Check out I want to apologize to Mason, him and Dan coming oh, up from Eugene together, and Dan gets a whole oh, backstory, yeah. and Mason's just Mason. Yeah. Sorry, Mason. That's the deal. You don't it's look like a woodsman. You're three-betting people a lot. Yeah. You're not a woodsman. The story is your poker. You can stomach it. Oh, wow. That's a shot at Dan now. No, it's not, because Dan's been playing good poker, that's a good too. game, actually. Just more, yeah, more woods-like poker. If you can like, he understands how to yeah. eat that's bugs to survive that. type of poker. That's not woods. That's jungle. Okay, you Travis. there's bugs in the woods? Course, and the jungle is a form woods. of the woods. So Travis is going to raise up Terminator's A7 off. The Terminator's terminating. Terminator's definitely not going to fold this. We've seen him play more than enough to know. I, I, not that I think he should fold it. I mean, I don't think he should limp it in the first place. But here we are. Is there a coffee correlation here? We heard Terminator order a coffee earlier. He got the coffee. Now he's terminating. I think there has to be a coffee correlation. This is the kind of board Travis should really bet. He's going to get called a fair amount. But he can put, as a, in terms of a multi-street plan, he can... Uh, Put a lot of pressure on. I mean, that's the the biggest pot Travis has won. Okay, well, nice hand, Travis. so far, you, I predict. Yes, I'm just gonna say this right now. I predict he will win a bigger pot at some point, because it's likely he will. Yes, I agree. I would. Uh, that was a small pot. <laughs> I will agree with you on that. Okay. First time. That you agree with me? Yeah. About anything. Mason doesn't seem like um, the big attack. You agreed with me about uh, trying to come up with a joke right now. The movie Inception. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought we disagreed it's, on that movie. Uh, we I did, but then you really eventually came around and agreed with me. That is not that true. That the movie is yeah. trash. That is not true. I <laughs> very much enjoy Inception, <laughs> and I think it's a great movie. <laughs> that you guys that scene in the hotel hallway is good. You guys can give Jonathan your hate mail about how he doesn't like Inception. Bring it on. Also, include all your ridiculous logical reasons about why it's not stupid, please. All right, so here we are with Batiste. Wow. You're the guy who was talking about Die Hard 4 recently, so I don't want to hear it. Okay, Batiste with Queens, and he just calls, why are you by the way. Taking away my agency to talk about movies. Rude. Oh, and Batiste is going to lose some money in this one. Yeah, Travis is all of a sudden getting some stuff happening for him. Batiste is rooting for a bet. Turns out. Turns out it's not going to be so good. His whole plan was to just call all the way down, right? Unless the board ran out really scary. Travis bets 45. Very little. Into 115. I guess he figures he's crushing the board a little bit. Well, open under for both players. Travis doesn't love that card because King Queen got there. Yeah, he's going to check. Batiste might decide to check back because he doesn't want to lose a 10. There you go. The only thing he's really afraid of is an ace. Well, that card shouldn't really affect things too frequently. 
But I mean, Travis must go for value here. Travis now knows he has the best hand. He doesn't have to worry about anything. Or a chop. Okay, yeah. sure. But Batiste calls right away. Travis is going to give him the bad news. Five cards definitely been high low, but I yeah. don't know about four cards. That's the thing to go through every day. Okay. When you decide to slow play a big pair, sometimes this happens. It's good. There's uh, no max fine. So just no get unlucky. Yeah, well, once Batiste game. called, just called pre-flop, he pretty much had to play it that way post-flop. I don't see any other course of action, do you? I mean, he could have bet the turn if he wanted. He's got an over pair and open ender. Yeah, it's but not crazy. to get called by what? You were making the point that... I mean, I think I think a 10 probably does call him. Maybe. But it's fine to check it back, too. I like his line. I mean, I think it's totally reasonable to call the flop. I think he has to call the river, for yep. sure. So... You know, who would be great for this game? Feeling out of jack there, Travis. Danny Mata. <laughs> yeah. Not that jack, but a jack. A jack. All right, Dan's going to open the threes under the gun. He's going to take off his boots and get comfortable. Pocket threes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Travis is wow. going to get a little loose here. He's up against a great hand in Dan's hand for him to be calling with this, mm. but against Dan's under the gun range, this is not a great idea. Easy call for Isan. And the big blind. Let's see a flop. Eight, eight lower. Just all babies. I'm going to... Action Pick flop. The over. Damn it. Who knows? Levy can't win today. Dan decides not to see bet here. He could have. He could have, but it's a pretty scary board. And Travis it looks like Travis is just going to win the hand. I kind of like Travis betting here. He's got no equity. And everyone checked to him. Isan, of course, can have something. But Dan Dan almost never has a king. Or better. Almost never. He can have queens. But it's sort of the best hand he mostly has there. He can have ace jack. Sure. These are hands that are going to call at least once. Yep. But a lot of hands he's going to have, he's just going to give up with too when he does. He can have pocket eights and just check fold. He might call, but he might call. Is that his? I think that might be it. I just wanted to see what Luca was flying behind. He couldn't pass up a needle. No. No, that's not a needle. That's true. I said you win, and I tabled my hand. I think Batiste is referring to the first hand of the session there. Fold. 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 Oh, Batiste is going to get a little loose, although he is yeah. in a hijack. Still, a that little, counts as loose. It's a little loose. No question. And Joseph folds the king-ten off, which is a reasonable fold. Let's see how Easton decides to play this ace-deuce suited. I don't expect him to fold. He folded. Dan will probably call. Oh right? my goodness! Wow, how did everybody fold? Okay, 280. All three players, button, small blind, and big blind, could have reasonably not Every folded, time. and it's sort of a miracle that that hand got through. Yeah, you don't see that on poker time too often. Hey, it looks like Terminator is putting on the old uh, 20 blind raise. Yep, not a straddle. Not a straddle. You're not allowed to straddle. Which may sound crazy. But I understand you can skip that. Me. I don't mind if you guys do it, but I'm not going to put it. It's the bylaws. You know, no. the old bylaws. It's, it's the ordinances. The we we would center. love it if they could. They like can't. The There's no straddling. That's it. The man trying to keep us so down. Yeah. Basically. But, but you know what? The because we persevere because we just blind yeah. raise. You can't let wait. the man keep you down. And the way you stop that is you put tw you bet twenty dollars. Yeah, you lose twenty dollars basically. <laughs> Party pooper. Um, no, if it were live, I'd have zero fucking oh, problems course. with it. Of course. And Joseph is probably going to win this hand unless well, somebody besides Terminator picks something up. Although it's only 50 to Terminator, he might call. Well, look at this. No Dan is going to do something. Anyway. Looks like a call. No. No, no, no. A raise. That's Dan much better. Yeah, there's no way Dan can call yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. He knows not to do that. Well, that, that's good. I'm glad Dan did that. Yeah. Now, Joseph, of course, never going to fold queens. <laughs> it's so weird with these stack depths. Four betting, or five betting technically here, but it would really be a four bet. Would be a bit of a scary thing for Joseph because he's not going to get it in against Dan too often and be ahead. He can be up against ace king, but that may be it. Maybe jacks once in a while, but it shows the, the real power of three betting in a deep stack cash game. Yep. You see, and Joseph's really kind of forced to just call most of the time. And Dan gets to live out his 28% equity here. Yep. And, and there you that go. is a lot more than 28% wow. equity as he flops the wheel with the nut flush draw, including a straight flush draw. This is an incredible spot. I'm glad Dan bet, by the way. A lot of players check there because they're afraid of losing their opponent, but yeah. it's a great spot to bet. I mean, he's hoping that Joseph has, like, 
ace king with the king of spades or something, right? Where he absolutely can't fold. Yeah, he just doesn't want to be up against a made flush, but Joseph has a ton of over pairs in his range here. And also, and Joseph doesn't have very ma many made flushes when you have the ace of spades in your hand. Right, and he, he just, just call the to, three bet. Right. Big king queen or king jack of spades. Pretty Maybe much. Some queen jack of spades. Yeah, there's just not much there, and you're just going with it anyway, as Dan. Like you cannot fold this hand. Is Joseph? Joseph. There's looks, no way. He no, can fold. you can't fold here. You have to call once, even though he turns would, out you're in trouble. He would be right but I don't think it would be the correct thing to do. We see Joseph make some really tight folds that we are often surprised by and we think are suboptimal. This would be one of those, gotcha. I think, even though this would be correct this time. Often they're not correct. Talk, we're heads up. You know, Joseph makes the call. Dan sitting there just was just praying for him to put okay. the chips in. Dan is kind of lucky that's not a spade. It gives him a chance to get action. I think Dan absolutely should bet again here. Could have stacked the pot ratio. He can set up a shove on the river pretty easily with a bet here. If he bets again, it would be now reasonable for Joseph to consider folding. Dan doesn't have too many hands worse than queens for value in his range. I mean, he might be able to have two black jacks, two black tens. And he can have any ace of spades in his hand. Yep. It's the perfect card to be continuing here. Yep. Because of that, I think Joseph has to call, actually, the more I think about the ace of spades being a big part of Dan's range. He just happens to have it with a four this time. Joseph may see, though, that he's betting 475 and setting up a shove on the river, which he pretty clearly is. And, and there, guess gets away from it. That's a great fold by Joseph. Nice fold, Joseph. I think he had to call the flop. This is this is the place where he could Woo! make the fold. Spicy! He shows the four. Finally, <laughs> Ace of spades with the four. Now it looks like Joseph made a uh, a bad fold there. It looks like it's pocket fours, right? Yeah. Turns out it was a great fold, Joseph. That was a cool hand. Yeah. The ace jack battle begins. Oh. Magic and Hawks interested in Mark L. Fultz. Oh. Why would you ever even gamble on that guy? Oh. Terminator with 10-7, who has a lot of equity. Well, it's because all the chop equity right, goes to the Right, of course, but 38% yeah. is still pretty decent. And he's flops an open yeah. ender. Is this going to check through? Unless Luca takes a stab. There he is. Luca in the very distinctive blue top. <laughs> blue top? Are you like a, a fashion blogger? I don't know what I am anymore, <laughs> man. <laughs> Luca does take a stab. Uh, the question for Terminator is to, to call or to raise. It looks like he just calls. It's reasonable. He can wrap all of the two pairs and 6-7, though, out of the big blind. I he kind can. of like a raise better. Luca can have all those things. Not all the two pairs, but most of the two pairs. Terminator has a range advantage over Luca here. Lackluster. Picks up a seven, which is not what he wanted to see, but it does help. He's now ahead. Luca picks up a gutter, as well as has overs. He's going to check it back. He's ahead sometimes, but it's rare now that the seven came. If Terminator checks again, which I would expect him to, Luca could bluff this. A bluff would probably get through. He gives up. I mean, he, I guess he's just hoping Terminator is queen ten, because all of the other draws yeah. got there in yeah. a way that beats ace jack. I mean, Luca didn't lose very much money on that hand. It's, it's totally reasonable to take a stab and just shut yep. it down. Try, just try and realize your equity. I agree. He's got enough, just barely enough showdown value where it's reasonable. Can't bluff every time. Well, I guess you can. You but, can. But and it's often going to be a losing play. There are some play. players that you should. Yeah, that's true. That's Terminator true. is not one of them. Yeah, it would have worked that time, but Terminator is not one of them. It probably would have worked that time. I'm not 100% I mean, sure. You bet turning river, he's folding. Oh, yeah. I, I was just thinking about the river, oh. I guess. River, he's probably folding, but it's a little less clear. I think he's folding. Joseph likes 6-3 suited. I feel like I see him play that in weird positions a lot. Not that this is super weird, but it's pretty loose. Yeah. Dan is going to... Is it a 3-bet? 
I think call. Dan is usually going to three bet there, but because of the last three bet he had against Joseph, it makes him feel like That's he can't weird. do it because uh, he showed the four. Yeah. That's fair. That doesn't mean that it would be bad to three bet. It actually is pretty powerful to three bet again there, but in no practice, on, a lot of no players just game, don't yeah. have it They're in them to, to do that in the moment, you know? Five. That may not be Dan. Oh, what a flop. Dan and Mason are going to get into it. And by the way, Joseph has a pair and a gut shot. Top wow. pair and a gut shot. This is, I mean, Dan is in an unbelievable shape here. Yeah, I can't believe how good of a flop this is for Dan. Mason could raise here. Mason could raise or call. Because he's in position, he might decide to just call with his overs as well. Yeah. I'd be afraid of getting action when a club came, but it's reasonable to call. Yeah, that's Dan a fair point. Dan just calling because he has top, top. Well, Joseph, Joseph just makes, makes a straight. Straight. this this hand is bananas. And Joseph checks so weird. If he had bet, he would have gotten called by both players. I don't know about that check. Will Mason take a shot? I think Mason is he supposed checks. to. And a four on the river means Joseph has the best hand somehow. That's he weird. checks again. It's weird that he has the best. Wow. And it checks through. Oh, Joseph gets nothing out of that. Oh, he was really hoping someone was going to bet that river. <laughs> and that's the face of lost value right there. Yeah. Wow. Just if maybe thought it was just too strong to bet on the turn when he made the straight. Probably should have. Boy, if he could see what they had. <laughs> they, Dan's going to call, and then because Dan calls, Mason's going to feel priced in and have to call too. Yep. The pot's going to get so big. Then Joseph could check the river. One of those guys may feel more obligated to take a shot, too. You know, like they just feel like they have to. Not Dan, but maybe maybe Mason. Maybe. When the four pairs. Joseph's going to make a crying call and win. Oh, could have been amazing. But. Oh, well. Isan, why'd you put your jacket on? Covering up that beautiful shirt. It's a little, a little depressing, honestly. At least he's got the hat, but you can't even see that. Nope, can't read the hat, even though it says uh, very familiar jingle and choo-choo, which is, of course, referring once again to the nitrogen ad. That's the end of the ad. It's crazy that someone made their own the merch plus here, about an ad we did. Hey, should seven we news. be afraid of Isan? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Both players have a seven. Isan with the best seven. And also the backdoor flush draw. Tease can't fold yet. Nope. Might start to get a little hairy on the turn for Batiste, though. Assuming he doesn't improve. Probably, probably go just, check, check. Yeah, though. I mean, Isan was almost always going to check the turn, right? Unless he improved in some yeah, way. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there are no draws on that board. It's pretty pretty dry. Unless Isan decides to turn his hand into a bluff to do a, a three-street plan to fold out a king, but that would be strange. Two, two. Batiste checks again. Well, now they're, they're chopping anyway. But they are chopping. Probably it'll just go check, check, right? I mean, Isan could in theory bet for value. To get called by what? Uh, a heroing Batiste. A three? Ace yeah. three? Pocket fives. Check is pretty reasonable, but it looks like he is going to go for a little bit of value. This might work out as a an accidental bluff, bluff off of a chop here. Yeah. I mean, Isan could really have a jack, Me? basically. No, I don't have a king. King, I would have already called by now. Come on. You think I'm tanking with king nine? Is that real? That's not real, right? Ten seconds. Got And it works out wow. great for Isan. I think he was going for thin value, Me but too. it worked as a bluff. He showed him the, the seven and... Good fold. I don't think Batiste is probably thrilled about that. <laughs> no, probably not. Isan pretty much only has a seven as a seven that beats Jack, Batiste there. Real? Other than that, he has coordinated no. sevens you that are going to be check. chops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll see it. Oh, well, I guess he didn't show it. I guess that okay. seven was from the board. Ah, I see. Maybe? No, well, Batiste is watching it right now and probably burning inside. Going thin with like tens or something. You know. <laughs> I don't know. You can just check raise it right there. Oh. And you bar fold. On the river? Yeah. I mean, I was called to shop there. 35, fold, call. Terminator terminating. Travis is going to call. Whoa. At least he has the button in front of him. I thought he was going to three bet at least when yeah. he when I saw I had 10 do suited there. All right, Travis has Terminator ranges. 
three players. And Dan's caught in the middle. Dan has a set. Dan's caught nowhere. Travis with top pair in the back door, flush draw. Dan should make some money on this one. Yep. Hopefully for Dan, it's a nice low turn card, and then he can get some action, especially a, a diamond. Deuce. Diamond would be good too. A deuce would be incredible. A ten would be incredible. Diamond would be pretty darn good. But also just a three would probably work out. An eight is a little scarier, but it still might it's probably get, fine. Get some action for Dan. Now some straights were made there. Just a few. Six, six, uh, four gets there. Jack nine gets there. Not too much. Travis could fold now, although calling is reasonable as well. I mean, if he's folding top pair here, I think it's I think he's just folding too much of his range. I think it's a mistake to fold top pair. What is what do you think Dan's bluffs are when he bets into two players and gets called, and then bets again? I guess um, you could have clubs, king, have, qu king queen of clubs. Could or he have like pocket that. sixes and then picked up an open ender? Maybe try and move off. Well, that's seven. that's an action killer. Yes. Dan's going to hate that card. Oh. Travis doesn't like it either, but it's going to ruin Dan's action. Now, he Dan might hates, not have been able to get action anyway. No, but Dan hates being out of position here where Travis... Travis probably is not going to try and bluff because he has too good a hand, but... Man, if Travis had put it in bed of like 165, Dan was going to oh, hate right. it. <laughs> that hand, I think, <laughs> is an instructive, perfect example of how preflop range can really hurt you over time. Mm. <laughs> Travis did, never had to be in that spot. You just decided to call with the 10 deuce. For that hand. And then you can't get value. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, there's some 10s he would have called with preflop and would have been in that spot anyway, but that's different. Right. Not all the 10s. Not all the suited 10s, just some of them. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. Now, the truth is, though, a lot of times he's going to win that pot when he flops top pair. Just that isn't one of them. Sure, sure. But I'm just saying, like, it's just one way that that, that losing preflop play loses you more money uh, than just the preflop call. Yeah, that's fair. It's always his fault. Come on. Raise 40. We haven't seen anyone with aces or kings, but we've seen queens a bunch. That is, that's true. It's weird. We haven't seen jacks either. Or tens. Maybe there aren't What's any. Or Eddie. nines. Or eights. Or sevens. What? Or is, sixes. What's happening? Queens. Two queens again? What is going on? We've seen queens, fives, threes, and deuces. Maybe fours once. No? We thought we... We made Joseph think Dan, uh, Dan had a four because Dan no, no, showed no. the four. No, I know, but someone had pocket fours at one point also. Oh, yeah, Terminator did. Under the gun one time. Yeah. That's right. Something is rigged. This this whole game is rigged. Smart thing to say as a producer of the game. All right, oh, so yeah. Dan's got A7 suited. <laughs> Forgot. <laughs> I'm involved in this. <laughs> <laughs> this game is totally above board, everybody. <laughs> Terminator opening the ace five off plus two. Still, no one's used a time card. I hope someone does soon. It's exciting when they do. Terminator and Travis doing some uh, some very loose things these days. Yeah, I think you know they they hung in there as long as they could, and always in these longer sessions, you just revert to you know who you really are. Makes sense. Everything is revealed. <laughs> Everything is revealed. <laughs> Nobody likes that flop. Nope. Travis is in position. That's the kind of flop I think you should probably just bet. We saw him bet the 7-4 in that other spot. Yeah. This is a good play. That's a good thing about Travis's game. I, so I was I was critical of his last play, but a good thing about his game is he knows which spots he can bet in profitably as a bluff, it seems, because the way the, the players are playing, unless they're very trappy, seems to indicate that they are not very strong at the time. Mm -hmm. No, you had the queen's hand before. Oh, there we go. Get us started. Oh, there's the uh, blind 20. Looks like from Mason. All right. More action. So just to remind everyone, so this this is the first half of this session. It's an hour and a half. This It's 90 minutes. We're putting out this week. Next week is the second half, the other 90 minutes. We're trying this as an experiment. Last time we tried all four hours at once as an experiment. We're just trying out different things, see what you guys like. So let us know. Yeah, that would be great. Terminator is not going to play this, right? No, okay. I don't understand why Travis would fold king eight off there when he played the last two hands the way he did. I don't know, but Batiste just folded king jack off. And I'm That's a little weird. Surprised. That's actually really weird. He was in the hijack. That's a absolute open. I, I don't get that. Ray 65. Hold. Hold. Dan is just not wanting to three bet Joseph anymore after that hand, I think. 
this seems like a pretty clear three bet spot, especially yeah. with the blind 20 on. I agree. Also, now he's inviting Mason into. He's got to win three ways, and he's out of position to both players. I think a three bet is called. It's for totally there. because of that other hand, right? Yeah, it's got to be. Shouldn't have showed that four. And that's a gut shot for Joseph. Mason with nothing. Dan with ace high, the best ace high. Joseph is going to bet it, and let's see if it just gets through. I, I think Dan's going to have to fold with Mason behind him. Yeah, it's almost it's almost 75% of pot here, so I think it's going to work. Yep. I wonder if we're going to get the blind 20 going on for a while now, or if that was just a one-time thing. Well, we can't see it in that image, can we? There's the 5 and the 10. Where's the 20? Terminator often will put on the blind 20, so yeah. let's see if he does. Yes. Yep, there it is. They're not going to use their time cards. At least they're going to put on the the dead straddle. So it's just a blind race, but yeah. Race yeah dead straddle is the same thing. Means the same straddle thing. kind of implies a different thing. No, because they ask if it's a live straddle, right? A live means that you have action when it comes to So you. is it a straddle in a tournament? If you just blind race? re-raise No, so what's because the difference? because in a straddle you have the option often to re-raise, but you but it's not. That's why they say it's a live straddle or dead straddle. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Let's yeah, I don't on. think you do. <laughs> but why do they ask if it's live? Because hmm? they're dumb. Because mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. are dumb. That's what I thought. People are it's dumb. A dead straddle is just a blind raise, right? What's the yeah. difference? No, it is. Because oh, because you can um you can dead straddle from other positions rather than under the gun. Oh, okay. Ha! There we you did got. it. But you can't do that here. No. So it's just a blind race. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Luca's got the best of it here with the ace 10. And still has the best of it. Flops the ace and the royal draw. That's pretty darn good. No one else with a whole lot of anything. I guess Mason actually has a gutter and the third nut flush draw. So yeah. Mason has something. Joseph's got the gutter, but it's not very good. Yeah. We're going to see it all the way through. Oh, and there it is. That's the, the royal for Luca. And the second nuts now for Mason. Oh, boy. Mason is... I don't know what Mason's supposed to do, but lose some money here. Right. But ev every bet basically reps the royal now, which is pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Luca probably should bet this, but I don't actually know. This I is not a common spot. I think he should be trying to build a pot just in case someone has a big club. And luckily for him, Mason has the second biggest club available. I mean, Mason really is going to have to call on the turn in probably the river, too. I mean, unless the sizing is absurd. I'm assuming uh, everyone else is just going to fold. Yep. Mason probably already hates this spot a little bit, though, because he's like, well, that's coming on the river a lot of the time, and I'm going to have to make a big decision. I mean, I think you. I, my plan would be to call. Just go call, call, unless the sizing is really absurd. Like, that would be my – I've got the second nuts. It's a, it's a weird spot, man. I don't know if that's my plan or not. I don't know what my plan is. I'm going to have to see what happens on the river. I'm going to think from Mason's perspective here. Okay. Well, there's 465 in the pot. Oh, the board pairing actually now makes it easier for Mason to fold. Right. Luca can now have full houses. Although, would he really bet the turn with two pair and a set? It's such a weird time to do it. It, it would be weird. Into four players, three players. I don't, I don't know that he would. This Luke, is our, of course, definitely betting here. This is our first royal on poker time, isn't it? I think so. It's a one-card royal, sadly. Boy, Lucas got to be really happy that card paired because that gives him more of a chance to get paid a lot of the time. Right. right. Mason could have a full house probably more easily than Luca could. Yep. Oh, he sized it up. Yeah, that's a big bet. And Mason looks very uncomfortable. I think he's hoping that Mason is king-queen and then has to call, right? Now that Mason can have king-queen in his range... I don't know. Maybe the nine of clubs is a fold to this size. Mason's got to be thinking, would he really call with King? Yeah, and that's right. Mason already knows he's going to need more than 30 seconds, even this though only 10 or so have passed. Super tough spot. Luca bets more than the pot. The board paired. You have the second nut flush here. He did check the flop, which is weird. And then bet the turn. It's hard for him to have full houses. The Why would he bet the turn with a, with a with two pair or a set? Right. So that leaves just the royal, which Luca could have the royal in a couple combinations. It would make sense for him to check the turn with some of those combinations or the flop. But you would expect he bets with a lot of the combinations anyway. Mm -hmm. The fact that the king of clubs was not out there on the flop, maybe Luca doesn't bet hands with the ten of clubs in them as frequently because it was multi-way. And an opponent could have the king of clubs. Yep. He is going to take Another more time. time I, li card. I like this. I think you really need to think this one through. This is a super tough spot. I don't know what to do. I don't either. I would probably be thinking, what do I know about Luca? Do I have any sense of him making big bluffs? Mason probably doesn't know anything about Luca. 
No, I imagine he doesn't. So that doesn't really help. If we use distribution, we probably are supposed to call, right? Because we like no one's. We don't really have full houses. But what are Luca's bluffs? Uh, I don't know. He's got a he's got an ace in his hand and it's a blocker. And Look at him make the, the full nice great fold. job. Wow. Oh, he's not, definitely not showing him. <laughs> I think Luke uh, sized it up a little too much there to get called by the nine of clubs. That might have been what happened. Now, yeah. still, a lot of these players are going to call with the nine of clubs here, and like we were saying, we don't even know what we would do, right? No. So. I, don't know. I had <laughs> almost was wishing it wasn't the nine of clubs. Yeah. <laughs> Great job, Mason. Yeah. Hey, he used time cards. How happy are you? I love it. And was it not dramatic? It was dramatic. Are you not entertained? Nah, I, that's just proven to me that Russell Crowe is an incredible actor. Ha hearing you say it <laughs> versus how he did it. I didn't try and act, though. I could, I could do it. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Well, let's wait for a moment where nothing's happening. As soon as this hand is over. Okay. Or something dramatic happens, I'll do By it. By the way, Batiste opening king eight plus one where he folded king jack last time in the hijack. That is super weird. I don't know what's going on. Maybe maybe it was a mistake of the card reader? Maybe. 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 It's not always a good sign when we say that. No, because it's almost never a mistake of the card reader. Terminator reasonably calls once here. It's not a... Not a sp spot that's very fun for Terminator here. No, but he absolutely has the best hand a fair amount of the time. That's a good card for both these guys. Better for Terminator. But these can just rep a bunch of stuff if he bats you. Over pairs, sets, top, top. He decides to check it back. Oh, but that's a great card Batiste for Batiste. is going to bet this. Oh, I yeah. Got to imagine. King 10 gets there. Obviously, all the aces get there. Terminator is very sad now. He's just going to bluff it. 150. That's pot. He's this trying to work. fold out the jacks and even the queens is what he's going for. Terminator put him on ace jack, which is reasonable. Stone Cold Bluff. I need to call the light back. You know what Batista's thinking right now? Are you not entertained? A good river. A nice pair that was incredible, right? Nice that Russell Crowe, watch that it was back. That was disturbing. <laughs> now, <laughs> The viewers <laughs> don't get the opportunity to see you do that, no. but I'm in the booth with Jonathan, and I had to watch his face as he did that. And yeah. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I am surprised <laughs> that he is not just, like, wandering the desert as a, a psychotic man right now. <laughs> I'm taking that as a compliment based <laughs> okay. on my, my reading of that line. Possibility. I never know what I'm going to do. Yeah, 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 I know. That's good in the moment type of thing. No, not with me. No, I'm just saying. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Probably not even supposed to raise that hand from where I Oh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's going to open the 5-3 off. Dan suddenly oh. taking off the galoshes and sitting down. <laughs> Getting comfortable. He got a taste of society and he can't get enough. I do that all the time. He's basically the great Gatsby. About 10% time you the great Dansby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're, we're, really, <laughs> we're really mixing too many things here. I think we got to stick with one thing. Dan makes a pair. Uh, Terminator makes a pair. Mason still has the nines. Nothing for Travis. Dan's going to continue. This is a good board to continue on, and it may just get through. I don't know what Mason's supposed to do except fold. Terminator really has to fold, too, and it's just going to work. He's going to take the third best hand and run it right through these guys like a buzzsaw <laughs> through a human skull. <laughs> <laughs> what does it matter with you today? I don't know. It's, you know, loosey goosey. Well, there's the great Gatsby stacking chips. What do you play? You said you were in Vegas. What did you play? The one K at Venetian. Oh, okay. Yeah. No good? Yeah. Cash? Cash is good. Yeah. Cash was good. Blackjack was really good. Cool. <laughs> Say that word. <laughs> I don't know much of those guys. Yeah, honest. no. Yeah. Let's see what Luca does with King Jack under the gun here. Yeah, this is right on the edge, eight handed. Nine handed, it's a pretty clear fold. It's okay to raise it, though. Yep. And then I'm just like, all right, I guess I'll just bet more in the next hand. <laughs> you know what I mean? 35? Terminator. Terminator, what are you doing? <laughs> He's terminating. Definitely personal. Could be. I don't know. I needle Luca pretty hard every week, so. Yeah. Well, and yeah. this is another example of how preflop range can get you in trouble. Yep. You so might think, far. You might think this is an unlucky flop for Terminator, and it is. It is. But he doesn't have to be in this spot. 
<laughs> Certainly not. This must be an F5 idea. Of course, he oh, hits a deuce on the turn. Yeah. Suddenly, suddenly he turns it range doesn't mean anything. No deuce, although the ten, great card for the 10 is player. a little scary. Luca could continue or check. I think he's probably supposed to continue because hearts are in there. He's just supposed to not give him a free card. He bets, yeah, about half pot. And now this is kind of a bad spot for Terminator. He's going to have to call, though. I think he is. He's, he's too, way too high up in his range to fold. Is he pulling out raising chips? That would be weird. It would work, I think. It is. Wow. Raised. So this is a bluff, or what is this? This has got to be a bluff. He's trying to rep a set and get Luca off an overpair. He could have jack-10 so easily here. Jack-10 makes the most sense. But he also could have pocket sixes, pocket fours. Jack-10 is definitely but the most sense. The way he played it feels like jack-10 all day, right? I guess he could have tens a little bit, too. And this is how betting can go wrong for Luca on the turn here. Yeah. Now, he could win a huge pot if he decides to call, but... So Terminator does something that we you were you're talking about his pre-flop range, and I get why you were saying that, but got him. he's like, I'm just going to play the guy. Who cares? I need two cards, bro. And he kind of was proven right that time. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people who play hands like that think that, and yeah. over time they're still losing money calling pre-flop with Jack Deuce. I don't think you're wrong, but at least he wasn't just playing it for the Jack Deuce value. Yeah. I mean, Although that was, a, that was a spot where he really could have. He had Right, pair. I mean, that was very strange. I yeah. don't know if that's a good bluff. I, I mean, I guess he put Luca on a better hand and decided he could move him off it, and he was right in both cases, if that's true. Yeah. Is it possible he was actually uh, protecting what he thought was the best hand because of the dry nature of the board? I wouldn't like that play if that were his yeah. intention. I agree. Dan getting loose. Dan is... Wow. I guess... Dan's... Uh, the flannel is off. <laughs> He's comfortable. Hey, someone raised queens. We still haven't seen a bigger pocket pair than queens. Still haven't seen jacks, still haven't seen tens. Still We've been seen. robbed. We've seen nines now, and it feels robbed good. Robbed by the non-aces and kings. Yeah. Poker just isn't good without those yeah, hands. <laughs> no. Isan's uh, probably well, supposed to fold here, but it's a, a pretty hand. He's going to be out of position. They are deep, at least. Yeah, of course, like by calling, he's going to create some stack to pot issues that aren't amazing. You'd really rather be deeper. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't that happen? Call 115. Yeah, I couldn't even go at all last time. Yeah, yeah. So Looks like he okay. is. Yeah. Is this a re race? Yes. Whoa! That is a four bet. Whoa! Isan! People are getting loose. Wow, things have changed so much. Dan has an easy fold. I know it is. Dan has already folded. <laughs> and now Mason cannot love having queens. No, I mean, he can't fold, right? He's going to probably call. He can't fold, but this is one of those spots you're like, am I just always losing? First weekend, I'm going to decide when I'm going to come we'll play it all How many four bets have we seen pre-flop? So is this the first one? The Without a blind raise, I think so. Like yeah. Like an actual, like... They, so it's, so it's kind of crazy. The first four bet we see is 10 high. Like and he oh, does fold. Mason just folded. I understand why he folded. You think you're just up against aces and kings way too much. Isan. Wow. Holy. That was aggressive. Yeah, I was gonna stay. It, gonna it's kind of lucky that it worked out. Yeah. I don't think Mason is usually gonna fold queens there, or most players aren't usually gonna fold queens Agreed. there. Agreed. And Isan didn't have any blockers to the the big hands yeah, that he wants his opponents I mean, not to have. To, to but man, that was pretty showy. It's, it's, yeah. It's not like it really was. It's more fun to drink and play that one. Yeah, exactly. Jack nine suited under the gun. Usually it's better than fold. ten nine suited. But he was plus one last time. Hey, it's queens again. It's always queens. No aces, no Why kings. Why can't we have kings? There's a king. What do we do to deserve? What do we do to deserve this? They're not that bright down there. All right, Luca's gonna go set mining. Like everything that doesn't like. So this has game. an easy call on the big blind, but a dominated one. They don't. No. Why they are you doing affected voices so much? <laughs> <laughs> they have our I don't know. I like doing poker. Are you doing time. Vince Van Patten type no. stuff? Oh, oh, this is bad news for Joseph. Yeah, stuff. he's gonna lose at least one bet, possibly multiple, often multiple bets. If they didn't have juice Joseph hand, does have the queen of spades in his hand. Nice little backup plan. And it's like 110 bucks or whatever. Luca's thinking about calling. He does have the best hand a fair amount of the time here. It sucks to have Joseph behind him, though. Yep. Did they suggest that? It's a good fold. Joseph thinks... Gotta believe he has the best hand a lot. Drawing to running spades or a 10 here. That is... 
Not a great card for either player because Joseph is the guy who's got the deuces in his range. Although Joseph will fold a deuce sometimes on the flop. That's true. Dan's going to go for value, I think, because of the wet nature of the board. I think it's good to go for value here. I yeah. think this is a good play. Jack nine can be in there. Spades can be in there. Joseph, I think, really has to call again. He just oh. lets it go, though. Joseph has the instincts on today. Wow. He's in a lot of big folds. Yeah. <laughs> Most of them correct. Most of them. Oh, wow. Like, his game selection is... Yeah. Second and none. He just started no. like well, maybe yeah. dipping his toes Two in overs. tournaments where it's a little tougher to fields, and yeah. I just don't think he likes it. He's gonna go back. This is uh, the last hand really smart. of this half of the session. Next, Jeez. next 90 minutes, the final 90 minutes coming out next week. Yeah. I'm starting to wonder if these are get all your, my cards. Get your galoshes on for some more yeah. Dan action. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Folds that under the gun. I meant next week. Yeah. Yeah. Of course he did. Terminator's gonna limp with the ace three off. Batiste with a pair of nines. Are you happy? Raise. I'm happier. I don't know if I'm happy. <laughs> okay. I wonder if this is just going to be the end of it. Nah. Come on. Terminator? Oh. Oh. Well, Terminator's going to let it go, and that'll be the last 10. We will see you guys back next week for the rest of this session. I want to